All right, welcome. Words of wisdom, Greg Lehman. Lehman? Lehman. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think Lehman, but there's like a debate. Oh. I don't correct anyone. If they ever Reconciling Lehman with Lehman. <laughs> so, words of wisdom. These are, I do these wild chats with people that I really admire and respect. And I've been following you for a long time okay. on social media. And we've had a few conversations, um, mostly Twitter debates. I think I had to remind you of that one because I don't think you remembered. <laughs> but um, basically, um, I just spent two days here with Greg and your course was, we're at the San Diego Pain Summit, and your course was reconciling biomechanics with pain science. Correct. And you know what um, I was really impressed with, which I was not anticipating, was how you were really talking about just let the biomechanics reconcile some of the biomechanic debates yeah kind of thing exactly can you talk about that so that that's the idea that you know i, I like biomechanics and so much of biomechanics research and i always say that where i'll see it and i was like wow that's really neat and then my next question is well like who cares how is this going to help me with somebody in pain and so there's so much biomechanics research where there's all these ideas about you know how people get injured and how pain occurs and it's not pain science that challenges those ideas it's, right, it's not pain science. It's not that therapeutic those neuroscience. Ideas. It's not. It's not that type of stuff. It's actually the biomechanics themselves. You can go look at the biomechanic research, and if you know the biomechanics well, then you would see that you know that the biomechanical idea isn't really that well supported. You know, so you don't you don't have to you know go and learn all about pain and neurophysiology and all that stuff to think oh maybe this biomechanical idea isn't something that's that great. You just know the biomechanic better, and you're like oh. I don't need to worry about that anymore for someone in pain. Yeah, which is really interesting because sometimes, you know, the whole biopsychosocial approach we talk about, um, well, sometimes people talk about how pain science is negating yeah. the bio approach and um, and we all, well, I should say we all, but we all tend to know that we don't say biomechanics doesn't matter or biology doesn't matter, like no one's saying that no but what that. I really liked about your approach is that you were actually saying okay let's say you are a real biomechanist and you really want to look at that you actually can still look at that and it yeah challenges. we want I, I want so to I really sal like that. salvage biomechanics salvage biomechanics. we want to make it better so and what I find is when you look at the complexity of biomechanics you come out and you realize that it's a lot simpler your mechanical interventions yeah. end up being a lot simpler and then you don't have to get caught up in the weeds of biomechanics so that your mechanical interventions, your physical interventions are simple to do. And then your next, you know, continue education course is in an area that goes into the psychosocial more. So now you can say, there's lots of different ways to help people and you want to improve as many different ways as you can. So it's not just by Like means. meditation and breathing. <laughs> and really. Yes. So that would be my next course since I don't Come breathe. Come to one of mine, seriously. A lot of the, there were times in there when I was thinking, you know, some of the, the breath awareness and some of the mindfulness yeah, right practices. There. No, no, I, I, I would love I, to I, share some. I would agree. So that, so that would be the idea where you, you like you expand your options because mm -hmm. people get better for lots of reasons and it'd be pretty arrogant to say that we know why. So we want, you know, and I that, that critique is labeled against myself yeah. too, where I could certainly expand my ways to treat. So, okay, one more, one more question on that. So we don't always know when things work, when they work. Like we don't or know why they work. Yeah, yeah. Why they work? How did I say that? Okay, so we when? don't we don't we don't always know why things work when they work. Um, how important is it? Do you think that how much time we spend on finding out the why and the mechanisms? Like, is that some is that a waste of time and energy, or is that important to? No, I, I think there should, should still be research trying to do that. You know, because we, we can understand the basic science and mechanisms, then maybe that can influence the treatment that we do. Right, give us more options. Yeah, but I wouldn't beat yourself up over not knowing why it works and not understanding the basic mechanism. That's that's not enough of a reason to stop doing right. what you do. And, and same with all our debates that we have. It, we shouldn't. We can have debates about the why, but just because you can't explain it doesn't mean it's not you know reasonable treatment to do. Mm -hmm. Right. It's it's honestly it's like like I said earlier it's like exercise for knee away. Mm -hmm. We have pragmatic research that can help, but we don't really know the mechanisms of, of why it helps with someone with knee away. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still gonna advocate exercise for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in one sentence, <laughs> two maybe, what would you, what would be your key message to say to people that would be listening to this segment? Like what would be your one, one sort of key message that you would like for help, helping people with pain like or um for well just what we're talking about here on yeah helping people yeah, you with know, pain uh, the, for sure in that context yeah. i think the biggest thing is like expand your scope like i use the analogy of like uh, uh pain is when the cup overflows mm -hmm. and so choose it's okay to treat with a big broad net like if you're gonna fish don't just use a pole use a big broad net so good use, there we go that's the words of wisdom. Okay. See, I was looking for the wow. <laughs> no, did I cut you off? Did you want no. to say more? No, that's it. I got nothing. That's a good one. Thank you okay. so Thank much. You. <laughs> words of wisdom, Greg Lehman. Thanks for watching my wow chat with Greg Lehman. For more information on Greg's work, check out greglehman.ca. And for more words of wisdom from other people that I admire and respect, check out my other wow chats.